día, espero que estén pasando súper bien Ready para comenzar en Genistis Vamos a hacer un stream del juego Chicken Police Paint It Red The Handy Games The Wild Gentleman Hoy ya estoy disponible, acaba de ser lanzado hoy, así que tienen una chequeadita cuando puedan Vamos a empezar con los settings un momento, bajar un poquito el sonido. I'm sent. Vamos a ver si se escucha todo bien. Bueno, ya vamos, estamos ready para comenzar el juego Chicken Police Pink Red. Well, vamos a comenzar. to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny, Sonny Featherland, an investigator for 20 years, and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department, one half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. What could possibly go wrong? Vamos a ver que tiene como que una vibra de Elay Noé y de. Perdón, una vibra Noé y de Gothic. Crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes, older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time, so I had to give her a chance. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, radio interviews, <clears throat> even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me, 
and took our daughter. The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it, or what it had to do with shoes. M.B. Davis, the eternal king of jazz. The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. I only heard the old man live one time, but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. The Wild Gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was, burned to the ground. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid, but I think I'm gonna end up dead in here whether I like it or not. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, <laughs> and empty bottles. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. I don't even know what these papers are. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Bloodboil took mine, so I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes, just in case. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. I don't see colors anymore, only emptiness. Everything faded. <clears throat> I need another drink. Who is this dame, anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah. Miss Deborah Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M oh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police, and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one, and it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist, but bourbon, please. Huh. Thank the Wild Ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from the beginning. I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. 
Looks like I may be needing you now. It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Hello. Please, that's why I'm here. Son el volumen de de eso, que es un pelo bajo. Gracias. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. Who exactly are you, ma'am? Um, I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Okay, vamos a preguntarle. Puede ser, dígame en qué parte de la ciudad vive. Cerro. Calavera, Villaflor, tal vez. O parece algo inse inseguro esto que bien. Vamos a seguir con las preguntas normales. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills, Flowerville, maybe. Look, I... I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer, and not on personal business. 
espérate, entonces no es a ti que te están enviando las cartas, a tu jefa. ¿Por qué no dijiste eso al principio? Vamos a ver. Fair point, Debra. Let's try a different approach. <ríe> Deja de hacerse la víctima en y empieza a cantar. <ríe> Pero está raro, pero vamos a irnos para arriba. Dice, ¿por qué tenía que venir? Why a did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ivanez. This day is essential to my mistress. And she thought it's also important to you. A message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment, even if it wasn't meant as such. Sabe lo que quiere si quiero. O oh, nadie nació y se crió usted en Clovis, o por qué ha venido a verme, por qué no sujeto. Vamos a ver acá. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately, only if she really has to. How so? Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So she's that kind of woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Okay. No vamos a meterle duro ahora. No, pero ¿cómo consiguió esta dirección? How did you get this address? How did you get this address? You know. My mistress has exceptional connections. If they were so exceptional, she wouldn't have chosen me. Don't be so hard on yourself, detective. You are the head of the famous chicken police, am I right? Was it a raccoon with a scarred face called Zip who recommended me? He hates me. No, Mr. Featherland. I don't know anyone like that. Lucky for you, Deborah. I'm sure it's not intentional, but uh, are you toying with me? I'm not sure I understand you, Mr. Featherland. Cut the crap, Deborah. You're a pretty smart girl, and you can't hide that no matter how hard you try. But ever since we've been talking, I couldn't force one single straight answer out of you. I'm starting to think I'm terrible at what I do. I'm sorry, Mr. Featherland, you're right. I'll try to be more straightforward next time. I appreciate that, ma'am. Are you in some sort of jam? Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left unsaid. Then you're wasting my time. 
I trust your instincts. You'll manage it. Yeah, and I have no other choice, right? To be honest, no, Mr. Featherland. Not really. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Suspicious. Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. Tell me, Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. Huh. Smart answer. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him. Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. Feathery gods, help me. So you get it now. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Be right back. en la lista de sospechosos
Legs that go on for days, deep dark eyes, silky skin and voice. You're in big trouble, pal. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing <clears throat> lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. <laughs> I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you all right? Are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? <laughs> Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? <laughs> Not you, Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Twenty years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. 
I'd appreciate that, Sunny. Tenemos al un conejito ahora. Ahora aquí qué dice ahora. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today, except drink. But tell me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Thought so. Hey, Lewis. <laughs> Am I bothering you? No. No, no, no. Of course not, Sonny. Old friend, what's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. The Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Good old rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. Of course, Sonny. You know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Debra.
Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. tipos de escenas, ahí se llama escenas principales las escenas principales son aquellas en las que avanza la trama, también determinan qué ubicaciones se abren o cierran hay que completarlas todas para pasarse el juego, están las escenas limitadas, las escenas limitadas solo están abiertas durante un periodo específico determinado por el progreso de la historia principal si lo tuyo es apurar los juegos a fondo, asegúrate de visitarlas todas antes de continuar a la siguiente escena principal y las escenas cerradas las escenas cerradas son aquellas a las que no se puede acceder en ese momento, su estado suele variar en, en función del progreso de la historia y puede ser temporal o permanente. Un consejo, selecciona la siguiente escena principal, si tienes totalmente claro que ya no quieres visitar ninguna de las escenas limitadas disponibles, es posible que no puedas volver a ellas. Ok, vamos a ver este... Comisaría de Clouke. Vamos a ver una cosa. Me parece que por el momento esta es la que tengo aquí, porque no me deja darle para izquierda ni para la derecha. Que, pues vamos para allá entonces. Ah, para acá, no, que no he visto lo de arriba. Bueno, pues vamos a comenzar. It was New Year's Eve, and I was driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work, but still, it didn't feel any different. Every day was the same. And the 121 days I had left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show with a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. In the meantime, The proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity, while others, smart ones, had already gone. Molly. Does her name really upset me this much? All those years of solitude, and I still jump without question every time I hear it. And then there's Marty. My ex-partner, who hates me, but I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? Aquí hay unos puntos interesantes. Natasha conoce a Molly. Molly era, es como quien dice, la ex de o oh, la esposa de este señor. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. Entonces dice que Marty ya no se lleva bien con él. Vamos a ver por qué. Vamos a ver también qué es Phyllis. ¿Tú? Nada. For the crown, for the king. We need you to see this. Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back, immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. Actually, it's a kind of passive-aggressive game for us with the Chief. Déjame quitarlo. Ok. No me dejo quitar el poster. Quería hacer una maldad también. Did you miss me? No. Same here. Back in the day, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but it used to have its advantages. 
Phyllis and Roy, two hedgehogs with an arrogance typical of novice cops. They're as prickly as they look, officious little shitheads, but harmless. Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Well, more than you. Hey, you don't have to be so picky, sure, bud. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. The law is in charge. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. Ah, <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. Marty drinks this shit. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it's gross and probably toxic. Honor, strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. A ver qué dice Morgan. Que hay okay, un sospechoso, parece que no dice Morgan. Primero que se nos ve con el tirador, ¿vale? tenemos a Bosco y a este Pacman, que está en la oficina. Vamos a hablar con este tipo, bueno. Morgan. 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 We used one of these as target. We used one of these as target practice once. Not out of disrespect. We were just too damn drunk. Poor old lizard. You've seen better days, haven't you? Mort, you scabbiest beast. What the hell did you do? It's Morty to you, sonny boy. Everything fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar, and uh, someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? If New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. 
Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jeffy is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? If you sing me, <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Still, Sunny, I have no one else. Do you understand that? Don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be, but neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sonny boy. I really am. Are you? Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. Don't talk to that insane owl. Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo shit. Hey, careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sonny boy, you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Detective Chow Hound Bosco. He thinks he's a real alpha, but nah, he's just a lapdog. Holy wild ones, look what the cat dragged in. Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy, as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? Still dying? I'm still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. Ahí vemos que a qué le disparó a este. Eso no. Vamos a ver por qué fue ese ese boy. One of Blood Boil's favorites, mainly because he's a dog, of course. Bark man. Yeah, la va uno. Qué rico. Officer Jardine. They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. We need more of her kind in here. <clears throat> Monica Rosen. Receptionist in theory, but in reality, she's doing literally everything around here. Like the beating heart of the PD. She's too good for this place, even for this city. Hey, Monica. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? 
Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. I'm really not in the mood to meet Deputy Malloy or any of my ex colleagues <clears throat> from the Predatory Division. This is going to be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> Can't blame him for it. Hello, Cassandra. I hope we'll meet again. Oh god, I'm starting to sound like Marty. I was just about to go when you came in, so if you want shooting practice, maybe turn on the lights first. You're right. I'm gonna do that. Marty looks good. Big and loud and angry as always. Okay. Mm. 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 Mm.
mato aquella que era inocente. Quinchele de un inocente. Tú, wow, salí, no, güey. Eso no es lo que quería hacer. Estuvo bueno eso, no. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. Were you lost? This is the PD building, you know. Got this shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Uh, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. Yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny, stop it right there. I'm in. That's... that's it? Ugh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so, tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. Okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Ah, all right. Susie can come. That's what I want to hear. funny we're good by the way mostly as good as we can be after all these years glad to hear it she asks a lot about you really yeah she always hated you for getting me into trouble all the time understandable but she also felt sorry for you oh well thanks that's uh, much better <laughs> if I'm honest with you she loved the chicken police, Marty, better than this one. Well, I think I'll take that as a compliment. Whatever, Sonny.
Marty looks good, big and loud and angry as always. I was just about to go when you came in, so if you want shooting practice, maybe turn on the lights first. You're right. I'm gonna do that. There were four weapons here. Where are the others? You're not bringing them with you, I hope. Well, we're going to a bar, aren't we? Yeah, that's the point. And? What? A buffalo killer and two handguns? We're only there to sniff around, not start a goddamn war. Ah, war, bar, what's the difference? And it's frickin' New Year's Eve, right? Of all that's furry, you know what? I don't even care. That's the spirit. Seriously, who said I have just three? Seriously, Marty. Who said I have just three? So, uh, Sonny. The pellets tore my right hip to pieces. So, yes. The doctor says I'll limp forever. Ah, good to hear that. Fuck off. Can we go finally, or are you waiting for a big warm hug? Let's get out of here before I get detained for gutting you. Ah, lovely and peaceful as always. Welcome back, boss bird. Still drink coffee? Yeah, my only poison. Except for guns, of course. And we could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zip's coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Oh yeah, like last time? Those were uh, different times, Marty. With a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right. To the city, then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Sonny, there's a little problem. 
not so little. And it smells, too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? Ah, uh, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? W what <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. The chief doesn't seem to be in a good mood. But he never is, actually. What a surprise. The two pigeons back together. And without my permission, of course. Chief Bloodboil. Damn. What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, hey, hey! Careful with the racist barking, old hound! Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here! Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, Detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Oh, just a coffee, boss, I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. <laughs> Family quarrel. <laughs> For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight! Have a lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, Santino. Speaking with the chief first, and it would be nice to say goodbye to Monica, too. Bueno, mi gente, pues esto va a ser todo. Ya saben, esto es Chicken Police, The Pain in Ya está disponible en su plataforma de juego favorita, así que denle una chiquita. Esto será todo. Cuídense, les agradecer un follow en mis redes sociales, o sea, Twitter, Twitter, Facebook Gaming, ahí me pueden conseguir con Genetis. Y pues, cuídense mucho porque los juegos les acompañan, Made the Game Big with You y Genetis Out.